All right, so we have a Kickstarter unboxing today. So, I, which I believe is, I could be wrong. I think I know what this is. I have a few that are out for delivery right now, so it's always kind of, come on. If I can cut it open. <laughs> Yes, Bark Avenue, um, which we have already done. I know Nick and Vic did a playthrough of. Um, they got a review copy at Gen Con this year. And so uh, Samantha and I had backed this uh, back when the Kickstarter ran, obviously. And we are... We got the deluxe edition. So, um, if you watch the playthrough, I can show you a little bit about what this looks like. Let me zoom in here a little. All right. So, we have the Bark Avenue. So, it's a dog walking game, if you're not familiar. Um, Samantha's a big fan of dog games. So, this was one that uh, caught her fancy and was one that we were really interested in. So, we got the deluxe edition. For this game and it is about walking dogs in new york city if i remember right yep new york city so we have a little advertisement here we have the rule book i'll slide the box over there nice little setup instructions with the board all the different key components i know backers um some backers got to have their dog put into the game which is uh, always exciting to be able to have a piece of your family in the game, essentially. Um, all the different... looks like a pretty well laid out rule book. I like that there's a lot of images. Um, that's always great to have like examples and, and everything. And then you have your uh, explanation of different goal cards, solo mode. And, uh, oh, look at this. Looks like um, some dogs that need foster homes. That's great. Sweet. And then a uh, reference on the back, which is always nice to have. Here we have some tokens pop out super easy. All right. Nice little cardboard tokens there. Um, so you have that. Let's take a look at the board. I might have some tokens that fall out because they were already punched. So we have the board here. You have this track here on the side and all the different places you're going to be going for a walk to, as well as the cards as they come up at the top. So there is the main board. Very colorful, really nice. I like the artwork on the board. Could uh, look at it a little bit better, actually. That way you can see it. Sorry. Um. <laughs> Yeah, but you have Central Park here, which is nice. You have, I like just the way the buildings look. You get the bridge. All, yeah, I like the way the board looks. Looks nice. Colorful. All right, we have the dual layered player boards here. So you'll have little tokens that can just fit right in there. The little hearts and the little pictures and everything. So that's really nice. I always love dual layers, even dual layered up here where the cards are going to go. So that's always great to have. So we have all the different player colors here. Purple looks like it's a player color. So I'm sure Samantha will be excited about that. Some baggies. We have our deluxe components. So in the deluxe edition, you could get these squishy poops. Very, very much look like squishy poops so i mean they are nice and squishy i got to see these at gen con actually too um designers let backers you know see these deluxe components and everything that had come in at the time so that was really nice um so really great looking production there we have our dice All right so these are uh engraved so they are indented if you can tell so nice quality dice, All right? Um, we have our 
wooden tokens here with our little movers that we're going to be on the board. We have our little tokens. Some stars, right? Because you're going to be getting reviews. Yep, looks like purple will definitely be a color. So Samantha will be excited about that. Nice little insert. But let's take a look at the dogs. I know, I feel like that's a thing people are going to want to see, the dogs. So I don't know if there's a difference. But let's see if I can't get this open real quick. And we can take a look at some of the different dogs. Um, so here we have Luna. I don't know which ones are um, backers dogs and which ones aren't. So maybe something I'll see later. But you have the different dogs and what they want to do and what they want. Who they're allowed to walk with. Some dogs don't want to be with other certain size dogs depending on I think this is the location that they want to get to. I'm not sure. I could be wrong. Um, I have to look at the rules, obviously. You have all these Pitbull Mix. That is uh, Samantha's favorite Pitbull Mix right there. So that's going to be one that I'm sure she's going to be on the lookout for. Um, okay, we have all the different, I believe these are like personal goals. Um, different events or things you're going to be achieving. Looks like goals there, yeah. Oh, reference cards, nice. And look, there's enough reference cards for everybody. That's always perfect. Uh, this looks like maybe solo mode cards there. Okay, and then well, let's see. I think this is going to be the bulk of our dogs right here. So let's, let's take a look at these dogs. Okay. Pixel. Hmm. Dash Hound. I had one of those as a kid. Let's see here. Yorkie. I had one of those as a kid. Pomeranian. Let's see. Pug had one of those as a kid. The snorting was always a thing. Let's see. Monkey. That's a great number. Oh, look at that. I like Deuce. I think that might be my favorite. <laughs> Archie, nice, nice. Oh, yeah, that's great. Okay, I had, a Do I had Doberman Pinscher as a kid. Oh, let's see, what else we got here? Look at these dogs. I like the just the expressions on their faces, right? That one, oh, that has got to be a, I like that. I, I, it's got to be a, a, a backer's dog, right? I would think. I don't know. I could be wrong. They all say mix, 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 mix. Look, they even got the, the, that's awesome. They got little disabled dogs in here too. That's cool. Huskies. Uh, those are always been my favorite. Black Labs. Samantha loves those. Uh, boxers. Great. Awesome. Love the artwork in this game. Really nice looking. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Hopefully Samantha will be okay that I unbox this without her. I should have waited, but I couldn't wait. So uh, that's going to do it for um, Bark Avenue. Um, I won't really do an, a reboxing because everything pretty much goes in the same way. It came out really nice and easy. So happy that there's an insert, and we will see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.